Okay, we're going to talk about osmosis and answer the questions, what is osmosis, what is osmotic and oncotic pressures, and what is tonicity? Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Morton, and I'm the noted anatomist. So first, let's talk about osmosis, which is the process where water moves through a cell membrane that's permeable to water, but not salts, from a less concentrated solution into a more concentrated one, thus equalizing the concentrations on each side of the membrane. Basically, water flowing towards the saltier side of the membrane. Now let's show that in this picture where we have this U-shaped tube and we're going to fill this U-shaped tube with water and then we're going to add salt to this water solution and in the middle we're going to put a semi-permeable membrane that's permeable to water but not salts and then we're going to watch it and nothing happens because there's no net movement of solutes or water because the solute's concentration on this side is equal to the solute concentration of the other side of the membrane. So let's take this side and go shing, and we're going to increase from here to here. We're going to increase the solute concentration, and now we watch what happens. Water flows towards the saltier side, and there's net movement of water to the side of greater solute concentrations until the solute concentration of one side of the membrane equals the solute concentration on the other side of the membrane, or basically, the yeah, concentration solutes are the same on both sides. Water is flowing towards the saltier side. Now, what's osmotic pressure? Well, to show that, let's take this and increase the solute concentration like we did before. And water is going to want to flow towards from one side of the membrane to the saltier side. But what we're going to do is apply pressure in the tube to stop enough pressure that stops the movement of water. So the pressure applied to a solution to prevent the inward flow of water across the cell membrane, that's osmotic pressure. It's like osmotic pressure is anti-osmosis type of thing. Now, what is oncotic pressure? Well, oncotic pressure is a form of osmotic pressure, but it's exerted by colloids. And, and when we talk about human physiology, it's often in plasma or the interstitial fluid. A, a really good example is plasma protein albumin. Now, to show that, let's here's a cell membrane, and inside the cell membrane is intracellular fluid, and there's a capillary that has plasma, and in the space in between, we call the interstitial space with interstitial fluid. Now, what we see is the cell membrane separates the inside of the cell from the interstitial fluid, and the capillary wall separates the inside of the capillary from the interstitial fluid. Now, hydraulic pressure exerted by plasma on the capillary wall causes fluid to move into the interstitial space. So a hydraulic pressure is like a pushing force. But inside these capillaries is this large protein called albumin. And there's openings in the capillary wall for fluid and like water and solutes like sodium to go through, but they're too small for albumin to go through. So they, uh, and they're water soluble proteins. So they actually take up space. So to get the same concentration of water on either side, they actually have a, a drawing pressure or a sucking pressure. Oncotic pressure is like a sucking force. So the oncotic pressure exerted by the albumin counteracts the tendency for fluid to leak out of the capillaries. Now let's talk about tonicity, which is where relative solute concentrations of two different environments separated by a semi-permeable cell membrane. That's what tonicity is. Now there are three things we're going to talk about with tonicity. Let's start with an isotonic solution. An isotonic solution is where the concentration of solutes are the same on both sides of the membrane. So here's a beaker that's filled with water and I stick a red blood cell in there and there's a bunch of solutes. Now the solutes are the same, the concentration in the blood cell and in the solution. So there's no net movement of water into or out of the cell because concentration of solutes here on this side and this side of the membrane are the same. Now let's take a look at a hypotonic solution, which is where there's higher concentration of solutes inside the cellular membrane. So we have the same beaker, but watch what we do. We increase the concentration of solutes inside the cell. So water flows in towards the saltier side. And so the net movement of water is into the cell until concentrations on both sides of the membrane are equal or the cell bursts, we call that lice or lysis. Now a hypertonic solution is a higher concentration of solutes outside the cell membrane. And so here we have a hypertonic solution. And so water flows from inside the cell 
towards the saltier side and the net movement of water is out of a cell until the solute concentrations are equal on both sides of the membrane or the cell shrinks or crenates. And that, my friends, is osmosis in a nutshell.